Hey, Richie Bullets and Bullet Heads. Gonna do a review on my CM9. I got it back from the range a few days ago. It performed uh, perfect. 125 rounds to it, hollow points and round and ball. No problems whatsoever. Um, these are the cheaper version of the CM9. Uh, the PM9, excuse me. This is the CM9. So, um, they're about $300 cheaper. And the only difference is it's not a match grade barrel, not a polygon barrel. Uh, so the machining work isn't, isn't as good. And the sights are, aren't pinned on. So um, it's basically a cheaper version of the PM9 and it's worth every penny. I paid three ninety. dollars you can get them from three seventy five. I've seen them the cheapest to about four fifty. Don't pay over four fifty. Uh, what these are known for are they're very compact, little recoil, and uh, a sweet trigger. They do have a nice trigger on these little guns. Alright, to chamber around, one thing you have to do when you first get them, because these guns are so tight, is put the magazine in. These are dummy rounds, no live ammo. Sorry about that. And let the slide fall. And that's how you chamber your first round. Now, after that, After a few hundred rounds, you can rack the slide and chain your chamber around by hand. The reason why they say that, uh, it has a tendency to bullet the nose dive and not feed the first round. So after a few hundred rounds, if you rack this and let the slide fall, don't ride the slide, you shouldn't have any problems. So the field strip these is sort of like a 1911 when you first get them, they're a little tough to field strip because that recoil spring is under so much te tension. So let me see if I can do it for you real fast. And there's a little uh, notches on these. Well, there's one here. It's on the slide. One on the frame. You line these up and you pop the pin out. It's just like a 1911. So let me see if I can do this for you guys. Line it up. Pop it out. And that's the pin. It's now out. And you let the slide just fall. The final part here is you're going to do it like a Glock. You're going to pull the trigger and let the slide come off. All right. It's a dual recoil spring. Really, really heavy recoil spring for such a little gun. And a barrel. If you can see, the, the barrels are polished, the feed ramps. So that's a nice little feature to ensure some more reliability. All right. So to put it back together, it's sort of like th the same procedure, but getting this recoil spring on is a real pain in the ass, to be honest with you. It's such it's a tremendous amount. Of, it's the strongest recoil spring I ever seen on a, little, a gun, next to uh, some 1911s. But to get this back on, you really gotta feed this right, just right, all the way through, and get it down on there right. All right, sorry if I went out of focus. So it's just like any other standing gun right now. And to put it back together, I'm gonna put the slide on. And it's sort of like get it going to where you can stick the pin in like a four o'clock position, just like that. Then you're gonna line up the slides again with those notches, line it up and insert the pin. And that's a basic field strip. It's not that complicated. It's a little different than some of the other guns. Do a function check. Holds back. Let go of the slide. Magazine release. You can dry fire these too. And trigger. Uh, what I like about the CM9s is one, they are reliable. Um, they're accurate. They got a sweet trigger. There's no safeties now. That they do, they did come out with a Massachusetts and California model that has a safety on it, and I don't know if you can special order them from another state. You probably can if you're into a safety, but it's nothing like the LC9 with all the safeties, the Ruger LC9. But uh, it's a sweet gun, and I highly, highly recommend this gun. I mean, it's accurate, it's light. You can pocket carry this gun. Um, I do uh, have two of these actually. That's how much I like them. Uh, I have one in Florida and one here in Jersey. 
and um, they're a sweet gun extremely accurate good trigger I mean the PM9s I always thought were overpriced and when they came like they came out with the CM9 I bought one right away and I, I think I still paid I paid like 460 when they first came out for it and uh, right now they you can get them around 400 bucks and they're worth every penny I mean pocket nines are very I should say single stack knives are very popular right now everybody has one uh, so um, if you're looking for a good carry gun good pocket gun you can pocket this I, I will do a comparison with the LC9 and some 380s now they have their the car 380 is another great gun it's almost identical in features just a lot smaller and that has a sweet trigger and that's a nice gun too and they're a little pricey those little 380s I think they go for like 600 bucks but uh car CM9 good company um, I call customer service just for some information and they call me back when I first got them and I highly recommend it so if you're looking for a pocket nine check these out a lot of gun stores here in New Jersey don't carry them but uh, you can find them if you look hard enough and the CM nines I would definitely recommend over the PM9 because the features aren't that much different and you're saving yourself three hundred dollars and uh, but if you have the money you want the PM9 and that's fine but the car CM9 very good gun like I said highly reliable I have no problems with them I own two of them and I have no problems with any of them so check out the car CM9s they come with one mag so get yourself another mag they don't come with the pinky extensions I bought these these are Pierce extensions this is the flush mag that it comes with uh, so buy yourself another mag they only come with one I like pinking extensions and they improve my accuracy I'll give you a quick um, look at the two with without now one thing that people complain about with the cars let me uh, touch base on this is when you hit the magazine they don't fall all the way out you kinda gotta pull a rest uh, that's not a really big issue I, I have no problems with that remember what these are intended for they're, they're not something you're gonna go to a range and fire hundreds of rounds through a day with them break them in make sure they're reliable every now and then take them to the range throw 50 rounds to them and uh, they're perfect perfect carry gun size features weight trigger it's probably one of the best packages out there so uh, don't if you're looking for pocket nines um, this is one of the best highly recommend them and that's it hope you like this video I'm glad my uh, New Jersey guns video and the gun community I really got a lot of good feedback I want to thank everybody who subbed to me because of that video I really do appreciate it I'm just doing this to be part of something and this this is really turning out to be a great experience this whole YouTube thing so again car CM9 uh, not that hard to feel strip a little different than most of your other semis out there right now the Glocks XDs MRPs they're a little simpler the SIGs are a little simpler but it's no big deal especially once they're broken in, broke in uh, they're a little bit easier to feel strip once they're broken in so I have to put another 150 rounds to this before I know this is absolutely flawless. I put my first 125, no problems. Um, you can buy the Pierce Grip extensions, buy another mag, you're going to need it. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Car CM9, take care.